All right, guys, it's Friday, 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm going to get some work done. Um, I'll swing you around. You probably won't be able to see it, but I got some work done on the fender. Of course, i got to get rid of the fluorescent bulb. Um, still more work to be done on it, as you can see. Um, I didn't film any of it, or film a video of it. It's getting better. Uh, I need to block sand it. And then I'll figure out where it's at. So <clears throat> anyway, we're going to be working on the truck today. Uh, I've already started on it. I'll show you what's going on. Over here, let's get a couple parts. Fleece. Fuel filter delete. So we'll be putting this on today. So basically what this does is it gets rid of the uh, a fuel filter. It bolts on where the fuel filter would go. Then you have the return line coming in, return line going out, and you can put still put the uh, water sensor, the fuel water sensor, or whatever it's called. And then also, <coughs> box number two is the sump. Now this is from Rudy's. It's not a beans. It's not a Beans brand sump, it's their brand. Um, the guy asked me if, when I ordered it if I wanted to uh, do a, tool, a double O-ring. <clears throat> and I said, no, I'll just do the single one, but they sent me the double O-ring version anyway. So it's a single bolt, drain hole, and we're doing a fast fuel pump in this also. I got that started already. So the pump is mounted. <clears throat> I got it all mounted. Uh, it's wired to the battery and the fuel line is ran up to the CP3, but it's not hooked up yet. There it is. So basically uh, this thing would pull fuel from the top of the gas tank through like a draw straw, I, I would assume. But that is actually going to be the return line from the pump. So the pump is going to go to the top of the tank, and then the inlet, of course, I drilled a hole in the tank here. It's going to go to the sump. That should be where the sending unit is, right above it. So right now, I am going to take the fuel tank out. I'm going to have to figure this contraption. I'm not sure what was going on right here. It has a, a filter on it, too. I don't know if there was an extra tank in the bed of the truck at one time um, don't really know there was an extra set of filters up by the engine too and I, I removed those but that comes to the breather the uh, that breather tube I don't know if you can see it there it is so I'm gonna replace that most likely to the tank and get rid of all that contraption stuff so that's what I'm working on I'm gonna get the tank out the fuel's been drained and uh, I'll bring you guys back when I get it off onto the ground. And uh, before you, you know, get any of this stuff on, I'll bring you back with that too. So stay tuned, guys. All right. Okay, it's out. It's a push lock style fitting. Looks like all you do is, is pinch the sides here and then pull the plastic. So I'm going to be using this one. This one's going to be the return line from the pump. But look at the dirt up here. This thing's dirty, and I want to replace that. I'm not sure what's going on with this. Is this some kind of breather or something? I don't know if they're plugged or if they're supposed to be plugged, or how much dirt's in the tank. So we're gonna pull the sending unit and figure out what's going on inside. All right, hang tight. Okay, looks like when I drilled it, I grabbed the uh, I grabbed this pickup screen. Look at the dirt and stuff. The inside doesn't look bad. It's not bad inside. You can see my bolt. See the black spot? That's the bolt. It's plugged it so it won't leak. There's some plastic pieces up in there. I'm going to try to grab it, get all this stuff cleaned up. Uh, I'm probably going to try to replace this line. 
this one that's okay it's just a fuel filler right i'm not sure what's going on there if those need to be plugged or if they are plugged or what i'll uh, do some research on that turn my light off and then there's this here's the pump i'm going to see about getting this out cutting the lines probably i don't need that i just will probably zip tie that up out of the way this is must be the return that's an interesting little valve it's the first time i've ever had one of these out so i'm going to play with it uh, probably end up cutting the bottom of this off because the sump's going to be there and uh, I'll get back to you with that and it looks like there's hand they put handles on this thing you believe that that's cool they put handles on this there's one on each side so you can grab it all right um, I am going to get the plastic out work on probably getting the sending unit and everything taken care of put it back in and then washing it so I'll bring you guys back when it's uh, cleaned up all right here we go let's drill this I don't know if you can see it there's a ring right here it's a flat spot let's try it I like slow melted plastic all over the bit. Probably did it again, huh? Just keep cleaning it. Now we're through. I'll get a file, clean that up, and then uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so this goes on the inside, so I'll probably need a couple of hands almost, I need an extra hand, like that, of course. Alright, so anyway, that goes on the inside, and then this should fit right on here, and most likely I'll keep it loose so I can spin it, but I'll have the both O-rings in it. And then uh, has a like rubber washer that seals it. So I'm gonna get that on, and I'll bring you guys back. All right. <clears throat> so this is part of the fast line. This will hook up to the actual inlet, but I'm gonna make that a, a return line. So they're both gonna return. And I cut the bottom of it out. They're both returned down at the bottom where the sump is. So that's ready to go back in. The gas tank's clean. And uh, like these are just vent lines. There's nothing on them. I'm not going to put anything on them. And I have a piece of 5 8 but I don't know if it's long enough. So if it's not long enough, I'll go back. Or actually, that's 3 quarter. If it's not long enough, I'll go back and uh, get that. Someone drew a little guy here. Kind of funny. I don't know if they did that at the dealership or if they did that. It looks like this has been replaced because it says AirTex on it. Usually you would say Mopar. So it's been uh, changed once already. A lot of dirt on here though. It's alright. We got it cleaned off. And uh, let's get this thing back together. Alright. Well, it's leaking here only only because I disconnected the line on the front so it's leaking through the old the old inlet pipe there but anyway that's the sump the sump's not leaking at all um, pump is in all plumbed that's just coming from the old fuel line up top 
it's just draining the excess off. I'm gonna do a, there's the feed line. Goes down to the sump. Everything up here is taken care of. New breather line. Now, what I need to work on is, uh, there's the wiring harness to plug. It's the plug. Here's the plug right here. It's right here. And then we'll have power to the pump and then remove the filter there. That, that whole thing. The whole thing gets removed. So that's the next thing on the list and I'm going to get to that and I'll bring you guys back uh, after that's out. Having having issues with my card, I keep saying, check card, restart camcorder. Anyway, so I have to take a mess. I'm going to, oh, it's peeing all over the place. That's not good. So anyway, I got to take this out. That's my water, fuel water sensor. Um, banjo bolts, there's the bolts to mount this back in. It's going to go here. Come over here. And it's a big empty hole now. So, lots of bolts on the back side. I have a bunch of wires here I have to tie up. I'll get to that after I get this thing back on. And let's see, banjo here. get back to it all right guys let me get working on this thing some more get this piece on and bolt it in all right it's all hooked up there's the main the main feed line right off the the fast pump got the fleece right here block used to be uh, the fuel filter but it is changed out now so that's all done I got a mess to clean up on the driveway as the filters weren't screwed on all the way and as soon as I started pumping fuel well it pumped fuel so I'll get that washed up other than that it's all buttoned up should be good to go I'll hose it off and uh, we'll go from there Cool guys, thanks for uh, hanging out, watching, and I don't know what we're going to do next, but stay tuned, maybe more work on the fender, we'll get back to this, we'll get some sanding done, and uh, we'll uh, start blocking that out and going from there. But anyway, if I have any more issues or anything, I'll bring you guys back, but I haven't started it yet, it should start right up, I'm not concerned, uh, I, I primed the pump into the bucket and all kinds of fuel went in there, so... That's what I'm working on, finishing up anyway. So, till next time, thanks guys.